so I just had a really weird dream just now. I will try my best to explain it using the uh, tools of animation at my disposal. So there I was, laying in my comfortable bed, looking at my laptop, just hanging out, looking at some tunes. And I started, I started feeling a little dreamy, a little, a little. Blah, 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 blah. So I just laid down and put on "Impossible Soul" from Sufjan Stevens because I haven't heard that song in a while. It's a good song. I started playing it and then I dozed off. I dozed off and I'm still a little fuzzy on the details of this, but. Bernie Sanders is in my dream, in my dreamscape. In the infinite void of my mind, Bernie Sanders showed up. He looks something like this. Okay, not exactly like this, but he, this, this makes it more interesting than what he actually looked like. And he was like, I've been expecting you. Welcome. Welcome to the dreaming. Make yourself comfortable. Okay, so he didn't actually say anything like that or look like that, but it makes it way more interesting. What he actually looked like is more or less like himself in a baggy ass suit and he was making some kind of a speech. He was saying a blah 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 all that politician stuff, kinda of boring. And I was like, Hey, what's what's the meaning of this? What's going on here? And he started babbling about some politician stuff. This country can be great again. Did you know that I did that interview with Killer Mike and, and you're you're kind of guilty for the fact that, that you haven't checked it out yet. You should you should have looked at it. I'm not good at doing a Bernie Sanders impression, so I'm just kind of winging it here. And he was like, you should watch that video. You should learn learn about my policies. You should take an active active role and, and being, a, being a citizen, even though you fucking hate politicians and voting and all that stuff. Just don't be lazy, okay? Look it up. Look it up. I can't remember exactly what he said. Something like that. So I was like, okay, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to exit my dream now. This is kind of weird. I'm leaving. You're free to come and go as you please. Always welcome in the dreaming. People that got fired up in 2008 about Barack Obama, the ideas, not just uh, a human being who's yeah, talking to yeah, you, yeah, yeah, cool looking family, so like Bill Cosby Show, uh, part three. Uh, he really uh, was. He set four or five ideas. What kind of dream was that? For too long. Don't wish that high. Uh, 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 Yeah, that happened. I just had a dream about him. And sure enough, after I had that dream, I was like, you know what, maybe this is some kind of, I don't believe that the dreams mean anything, any of that shit, but at the very least, I was like, okay, let me just, I'm probably gonna end up voting for this guy, whoever, if, if he gets this Democratic nomination, so let me at least look up what he believes. And even though I think all politicians are still full of shit, uh, he's, he seems like less of a, a, a loser to me as I, as I hear him talk more. So I, I, I watch the Killer Mike videos and, you know, I don't know. I'm still, I'm still, uh, I'm still expecting to be really disappointed, but that's normal, right? I don't know. The very least I could do is try and be informed with what, what little uh, adult brain power that I have to sort of wrap my mind on economics and the justice system and all that stuff. The least I can do is just try and be a little bit better informed than I am right now, which is just zero. I know nothing. I know jack shit. So it's Super Bowl Sunday. I'm going to go to the cafe. Cafe? What the fuck was this? French? Uh, I'm going to go to a coffee shop. A little different than usual to do a quick sketch of whoever I see, so it'll be a little more long form. That's the good thing about coffee shops is that people stay more still, so they won't be running around and everything. All right, all right, all right. Drew a little Luke Cage on the left and using a 6B pencil. You can find one of those in the show notes if you want to buy it. They're really good, again, to get those dark lines very quick, immediate marks. I was a little shy. I was a little shy Susan in the coffee shop, but um, settled on a guy who was looking at his phone, which is, those are the best people to draw. Got a very general outline of his body. Um, I'm never good at drawing people who are at tables. I, I always just leave the table out and their body just looks kind of hunched over in space. That is another thing I have to work on. Anytime I make one of these annotations, I 
I'm made aware of things I need to work on. Uh, again, I'm breaking a few rules here, but in general, you want to work from general to specific. Get Draw the whole leg before you start drawing the creases in his pants. Don't be like me. Uh, and you'll notice that I'm avoiding his face, which is counterintuitive for me. It's not what I usually do, which means that I should do it more. I do like how this drawing came out. Putting a lot of creases into his his puffy ass jacket and jeans. And the shading, the shading is another thing I kind of neglect. So that was fun to do. And I really didn't do much for his face, this guy. So that was a unique a new unique experience, which I think I'm gonna try and explore more in the future. Just drawing people who don't really have obvious faces, but definitely have bodies. It's the opposite of what I want to do. I want to, right here, I'm defining the creases in the in the jacket a little more, to give it more depth. And this isn't; these creases aren't completely 100% accurate. That would that would require him being still for a really long time. But those are the those are the sort of issues inherent in drawing people who don't know that, that that they're being drawn. You have to sort of make these really immediate decisions about where you're going to put what. Doing the crease in his jeans. I think the leg farthest away from me had a lot more interesting shadow, so I wanted to get that. So you see what I did? Very general, and now I'm doing specific, putting the dark lines on to make things make more sense, accentuate a certain features leave another leave other features out mostly out of laziness yeah I would have liked to got uh, get his shoes in the frame as well here's the his other collar kind of nondescript like I said I, I like how this came out I think it's good I, I don't have much to complain about I'm in love with this pencil. One issue you'll get with this is that it smudges very easily since it's such a soft lead. I mean, once you play around with these pencils, you'll figure out which ones suit your your particular needs more, your particular style or way of rendering. Give him a little quick sad face. But that's about as much detail as I get into with his actual face. More creases. It's all about the creases in this drawing. Creasing it up. Got out my Micron brush pen. Also in the show notes, you can get one of these. My favorite new ink pen. Ink brush. I think it's as good as those Japanese brush pens that I got when I was in good old Japan. Tokyo adding some details to the hands and we're coming towards the ending of this coming towards the ending where, where I'll, uh, I'll do a final shot right after I do this crease okay, here we go the final shot if you guys like that animation of Bernie Sanders let me know what you thought. Let me know if you had any weird dreams about Bernie Sanders or any other politicians as well. Let me know what you think of this drawing. Like, subscribe, all that other stuff. New content always coming out. Follow me on the social media stuff. And I'll see you all very, very, very soon.